Okay, we've been here before. Uh, we're back at Munao. Last year we were here, it was night. Oh, epic. Yo, this is insane. Not a bad spot for a first night's dinner. This time we're here in the day uh, to try and get a different kind of view. All right, all right, hold on. Let's start from the beginning. First things first, I need to catch my flight from London to Doha, and I've got seven hours ahead of me. Let's go. Seven hours later, and I'm in Doha, and I'm getting all the feels. Pakistan, I'm nearly there. Another stopover done, five hours later, another flight done, and I'm finally back in Pakistan. First stop is Islamabad. It's been a long journey back to Pakistan, but I'm so pumped to be back. You have no idea. Um, so pretty much London to Doha, Doha to Islamabad. And now uh, I'm here in Islamabad and it's like I never left. Uh, a lot of deja vu, a lot of good memories coming through the airport from last year's tour. We've touched down in Islamabad. It's official. We're here. We're here. Louise, how do you feel? <laughs> Nate anxiously waiting for his bag. Fingers crossed. It's been three flights. Oh, just checking out the gear, you know, just sizing everyone, <laughs> sizing each other up. Oh, nice lens, <laughs> man. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Me too. Ooh, how are you feeling? Oh, look at those glasses. <laughs> Versace, Versace. Uh, back at Serena, Islamabad. Uh, probably one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. But uh, I'm super pumped to be back. Uh, CPIC Pack Tour 2019 2.0. We've upped it a bit this year, uh, and it's gonna be sick. We are again. Sorry, guys. I've gotten ahead of myself. Before we continue, here's a quick word from CPIC, the sponsor of our tour. The vision behind this is to change the global perception of Pakistan. We have an opportunity today through these social media influencers who've got followers in the millions, we can show a real and true image of Pakistan to the entire world. We are bringing global influencers from the travel sphere to Pakistan and taking them on tours across the country. Our first tour, we went to the areas of Swat and Chitral and the Kalash Valleys and down to Karachi and Gawadar. And now on our second trip, we're going towards Hunza and Skardu and the Gilgit Baltistan area. This initiative, we have completely privately funded it as CPIC, as a private organization. There has been no government involvement in the initiative. We are doing this fully ourselves, arranging it all ourselves. It is just a passion project. Through tourism, not only are we attracting money into Pakistan's economy and foreign currency into Pakistan, but we are changing that global perception people have of Pakistan. We are changing the country's PR. And the knock-on effect of that is so significant that alone, if we can just change Pakistan's global perception, if we can change the country's PR, the country can make a complete turnaround, both in terms of the economy, in terms of foreign direct investment, everything, it's a domino effect, it's all linked to this one factor. And the way we identified it, our shortcut to changing Pakistan's global perception is by bringing these social media influencers from across the world to Pakistan to enjoy the country and to share their 
experiences with their followers in a real and organic way. You know, these people are not actors. These are real people sharing their real experiences, something which cannot be reenacted. Let's take the steps to be the change that we want to see in the country. Let's take the steps to make the Pakistan that we want and show the world a true and real image of Pakistan. Yeah, here we go. Day number one, CPIC Pack Tour 2019. It's gonna be so dope. You ready? Let's go. Next order of business was meeting everyone for the first time before we headed out to explore the city of Islamabad. So we have different uh, races all across Pakistan. So we have the Patans in the north, then where we are right now, this is Punjab, so we have Punjabis here. And then in Sindh we have Sindhis that speak different languages. So we speak, in Sindh we speak Sindhi, here we speak Punjabi, up north we speak Pashto. Pashto. Yeah, and then... Sometimes when you say words they sound like Russian. <laughs> and then there's Balochistan, so people there speak Balochi. But there are a lot of different uh, regional languages as well, like Bruhi, uh, Hindko, and like so many others. Uh, in Gilgit we have Shina, that's another language. How many do you know? I know English, Urdu and a little bit of Sindhi and I can understand Punjabi. I can speak uh, Romanian English, a bit of Italian, a bit of Spanish, a little bit of French and I'm trying to learn Japanese. You, you speak French, don't you? I can speak French and I learn Spanish too. So I can speak three languages, I guess. Not as impressive as some no. other people here. Zoo? Zoo? What about you? No, but French is a very good uh, I can speak language. English, so Urdu. Mm -hmm. I've tried to learn Cindy? Language, it's just, I can never follow the uh, Okay, we've got the whole crew with us now. We've all made our introductions. And now uh, we're gonna take them shopping. Get some uh, traditional Pakistani clothing, grab some food. Next stop, send tourists. Let's go. Mike's gonna go uh, try his luck with the local ice cream. Oh look! Yeah. They're just I think that yeah, it's like frozen, you know. It's like ice cream. Okay. Look like ice cream. Don't, 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 don't. Uh, you want to try quickly? And, uh, oh. Yeah, let's see how it's gonna be like. <laughs> it's really yummy. Actually. It's really good. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they look sure. It's kind of frozen. It's like I just like that. We usually have this at weddings as well, so like yeah. dessert. All right, so. Is there a flavor? Uh, just milk. Just milk flavor? Yeah, milk and cream. Yeah. Go for it. Ah! No, if you're digging into it. Okay. <laughs> you like it? It tastes like, um... Is there lemon in there? No. <laughs> yeah, it's gotta be lemon. Lemon shaman to me, Dalai Smith. Hey, there's no lemon in there. Yeah, Dalai Smith. Dude, la chie, koe. Cardamom. Not bad. Not bad? Is there like a lemony taste? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. it. It's a, it's almost like a milk like a milk pop. Like yeah, it's not it quite is. milk. Like um, it's not ice cream. It's like more icy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a popsicle. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's really nice. We have so many. Uh, it's refreshing monkeys. because it's it's warm monkeys? out. Yeah. yeah. There is also the aroma of. Marijuana in the air. <laughs> because we're surrounded by plants. And I think that's adding to the deliciousness of this treat. It's everywhere. Look. Right here. Literally right here. See, it feels right at home, eh? This is it. This is like my mom's backyard. <laughs> yeah. Really? It's all over, look, it's all, literally all over. If you want to get high, come here. You have a lot of stuff to get high on. I knew she doesn't even... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not promoting it or anything. I'm just saying, it's here. Just saying, you know? Yeah, I'm just saying. Alexis, I see you getting excited about those. No. <laughs> Is it legal? <laughs> Do they make ice cream with it? Well, they can for you. No. <laughs> it's only drive number one. <laughs> We're, uh, we're heading to the top of the hills um, to get a nice little view of the city and show these guys their first little bit of a nice view in Pakistan. 
Okay, we've been here before. Uh, we're back at Munao. Last year we were here, it was nice. Oh, epic. Yo, this is insane. Not a bad spot for a first night's dinner. This time we're here in the day uh, to try and get a different kind of view. Centurus shopping mall in Islamabad. Paid a nice little visit here last year. Get some traditional Pakistani clothing. Oh God, we could be on something here. Oh yeah. yeah, I like it. You look like a baton now. Probably gonna do a bit of the same today uh, and show these guys around uh, and have a little bit of fun while we're doing it. Bring these guys to a mall in Pakistan and you'll find them in a Sony store. Both you Sonys, get that cannon out of here, get that out of here. <laughs> uh, these Sony guys, eh? Sitting in a field of marijuana plants. <laughs> <laughs> Success. Mike, what were you? The, you were the sugar daddy there, right? See, I got pockets. So I got the wallet, so I got the cash, and so yeah, I'm the sugar daddy. <laughs> Even though it's all her money. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get, Lexi? Got a. Mm, I'm not gonna know the name of it, but. Some, uh, oh, very nice. Some ethnic clothing. Pretty excited about it. It's gonna make for some good photos. Hey. Jump it! No more money. Whoa, we have lights. Okay, we're done. At Centaurus. Yeah. Of course, uh, Alexis took up all our time shopping. No, no, that's not true. So uh, we're gonna have to skip out on the mosque this time around. A quick stop at the iconic Faisal Mosque and a few interviews later, the end of day one had arrived. But not to worry because there's many more days and many more vlogs to come. If you liked what you saw and you're excited for more Pakistan, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below. I'd really appreciate it. All right, day one in Islamabad, Pakistan is done and dusted. Sorry guys, I just had to jump on here one more time Looking back on the footage, I'm just realizing now that day one wasn't even supposed to be an actual vlog day. It was supposed to be a rest day where we were all recovering from the flights. But I guess it's hard to have a dull day in Pakistan, right? I'm so pumped for you guys to see the rest of the trip. So after you subscribe, don't forget to turn on those post notifications too, so you don't miss a beat. Catch you on the next one. Cancelled. There's no flight to Skardu. <laughs> <laughs>